Celtic Badass of the Week showcases a person of Celtic heritage each week. Those who exemplify the give-no-shit attitude and come out on top. They may come from our past or our present, but rest assured they come from all walks of life and legend. They are men, women, even old ladies and pirate queens. Now you don't have to be a muscled up Celt in a fur kilt swinging a mighty sword. You can just be a 4 foot 11 Welsh woman and suffragette who knows jujitsu. Now most of these badasses are all too real. And while some of these are only legend, they're badass legends. The only prerequisite is Celtic blood and badassness. Skahawk, the legendary Scottish warrior queen. In Gaelic legend, Skahawk is a badass Scottish warrior. She features in the Ulster Cycle. Yes, I said she. She features in one of the four Ulster Cycles in Irish mythology, along with the Mythological Cycle, Fenian Cycle, and the Historical Cycle, known as the Cycle of the Kings. Skahak was said to be a warrior queen whose fortress, Dun Skahak, Fortress of Shadows, is named after her and is on the Isle of Skye, on Chilin Skianok. The remains of Dunskach Castle now stand on the site where her fortress was once said to be located. Skahak was such a badass warrior, with such a badass reputation for being a brutally skilled badass warrior. It is said that she trained many legendary warriors, but especially the legendary Irish hero, Cahollan, who is such a badass that he appears in Irish, Scottish, and Manx folklore. He is said to be the son of Lu a god in Irish mythology and member of the pre-Christian Gallic pantheon of Tuath Danana. The instruction of Cahulan by Skahak is described in Tachmark Emmer, the wooing of Emmer. Now one of the stories in the Ulster Cycle, Cahulan had fallen in love with Emmer, daughter of Forgal Monarch, who was opposed to the match. Now he suggested that Cahulan wasn't worthy and should complete his training as a warrior with Skahak, a renowned warrior and skilled master of the fighting arts, in the land of Alba, which is modern-day Scotland, before marrying Emmer. Now, Forgol's exception was that Cahulan would be killed in the process, for Skahak's training was such that that was certainly a possibility, if not a definite possible outcome. Many a badass warrior had come to her isle and never left. Now, Cahulan and his friend uh, Ferdiad traveled the sky and gained access to Dunskay. Here, Skahak trained them in the fighting skills. She also gave Cahulan his famous and deadly spear, Guy Bulg. Thanks to Skahak, Cahulan returned from Scotland a fully trained warrior. However, on his return to Ireland, Forgal still refused to let him marry Emmer. Was this guy mental or something? What the hell? He had just returned from being trained by the world's most badass warrior, and this dude still defiant? Well, Cahulan said screw this, and attacked Forgal's stronghold, killing many of his defenders. And then he escaped with Emmer, and for good measure, stole Forgal's treasure. Forgal himself fell from the ramparts to his death, and Emmer agreed to marry Cahulan. Although empowered with heightened skill and weaponry, tragedy followed Cahulan after his time being tutored by Skahak. Legend has it that Skahak entered into war against a rival queen, Effi. Some say that she was the sister of Skahak. Now, despite Skahak's efforts to keep Cahulan from the battle, he came to fight with his master and ended up in combat against Effi. Now, Effi was defeated and made a lasting peace with Skahak. Effi also ended up giving birth to Cahulan's son. Kanla. <laughs> what? Now, now we know how he won that fight. Skahak had even warned Cahulan not to be romantically involved, involved with Effie. But did that dude listen? I don't think so. And nine months later, here come Kanla. He was born after he, uh, Cahulan had already returned to Ireland. But before leaving, Cahulan had instructed Effie to give the child a gold ring. Then he, then he instructed that when the boy grew up, he was to come to Ireland in search of him. He must not refuse any challenge and never tell anyone his name. 
He thought this was good advice, and someday he would be reunited with his son. But when Connla became a man and came from Alba to Ireland, he was a skilled fighter and defeated every warrior sent against him. Now, Skahek was a formidable badass warrior whose training of the legendary Irish hero Cahula in the arts of combat was vital to his many victorious battles. However, Cahulan was called into battle this time against his own son. Even though they were trained equally, Cahulan had the experience and fatally wounded him. It was at this point, dying on the field of battle, that in his last breath of life, Conla gave his name to his father, and Cahulan, holding the hand of his dying, this great dying foe, recognized the gold ring. He had killed his own son, and he was stricken with grief. Now, Skahak was a badass warrior. She trained some of the most legendary badass heroes, including Cahulan and his son. The ruined castle of Dunskah, which bears her name, is built on legendary site of her fortress. The remains of Dunskahak can now be seen above the Loch Eshort, possibly dating from the 13th century. It has been held by the Clan MacDonald of Sleet, Clan MacLeod, McCaskills, and again the MacDonalds. But the island on which it stands forever will be associated with the great, legendary, and of course badass Scottish woman warrior, Skahuk.